Thanks for tuning in to this video briefing number two for the atmospheric river potential. We are still looking at significant and potentially heavy rain with this atmospheric river for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll talk about this in detail during this briefing. All right, the latest water vapor on satellite. This is looking at the actual moisture content in the atmosphere. The red area is the tropics and our storm system is the L. It's drawing the moisture northward right towards central and southern California. You can see there's a rather large area of the yellow shaded and we got to keep an eye on that. That'll be the first period of heavy rain targeted for Santa Barbara area. Here is a satellite imagery also referred to as water vapor but this is more sensitive to the upper levels of the atmosphere so we can see weather disturbances better with it. We can see the transport of the tropical moisture coming up from the southwest as shown here targeted towards the Point Conception region and we can also see the large disturbance in the Pacific that's drawing the moisture northward and at the top of your screen you can see some colder air carving down from the north and that's going to eventually sweep all this out at the end of this week. All right, what are we talking about here? The upper level weather pattern is shown on the left hand side. This is what's currently happening with all the warm and tropical air being pumped northward into California ahead of that dash line or the upper level trough. The focus of that moisture and energy is along the white line. That's kind of our jet stream or boundary that's really going to drive out the rainfall into the southern part of California, especially L.A. northward. Now, uh, on the right-hand side is the weather pattern that's going to set up for Thursday. It's going to get a little bit closer to us and allow that precipitation to spread more across extreme southern California, ahead of that dash line or upper level trough. All right, when we talk about atmospheric river, we are looking at mainly two things, deep tropical moisture as seen here, and we're also looking at wind speeds to transport it and drive it into our region. The third mechanism, we got to find a way to squeeze it out. Either we could do that with a cold front, a upper level trough, weather disturbance. We can also do that with mountains and coastal interaction with that moisture. So tonight we see this warm, moist air move in. That's the leading edge of some of the heavier rain that will move by just to the north of Orange County. And the setup continues on Wednesday with that warm front blasting into Nevada, raising the snow levels. And more importantly, a dark, deep area of atmospheric river pointing towards Point Conception for tomorrow, as shown here in the deep red. All right. Wednesday night and Thursday is the period of heaviest rain for far southern California. So that would be Orange County, Riverside County, and also including San Diego County. The Wednesday night period looks like it'll again, the dark red area approach Point Conception and then move into Santa Barbara, but also sweep into LA and Orange County, as well as San Bernardino County, especially the mountains and the high deserts. Then on Thursday, as that upper level trough pushes eastward, it squeezes that moisture and focuses it into Orange, Riverside, and San Diego County, as well as the high deserts. So really the time period is midnight on Wednesday night through the afternoon on Thursday, where we could see our most significant rainfall in about a 24 hour period. That's when we look to see the heavy rain as those bands of deep atmospheric river potential move through. All right, and then finally, the main storm system is going to sweep through Thursday night. But before that, you can see into Thursday during the entire day in the afternoon, San Diego County and Riverside County are still in that deep plume of moisture. And then the sharp back edge is moving into Santa Barbara as shown here. Now showers will still continue along and behind that dash blue line Thursday night. But by the time that moves through Friday morning, most of the precipitation should be ended and pushed to the east. This is what we're looking at for rainfall totals. Snow levels will be high, so the majority of this will be in the form of rain, except 
you're going to have to go up above 8,000 feet. At the very end of the storm Thursday night, there will be a little bit of wet snow in our northern mountains around Big Bear and Wrightwood, but you're still going to have to be up around 6,500 to 7,000 for any of that to accumulate to a couple inches. So mostly what we're talking about here is rainfall. Could be very significant as you see some pockets of four to six inches along the San Bernardino Mountains from the San Gabriel Mountains all the way to San Gregorio Mountain. Also a pocket of concern is the Santa Ana Mountains as shown here and then into the Palomar Mountain region of San Diego County and then Mount San Jacinto. A rather small area of really a heavy rain could form and uh, accumulate in San Jacinto Mountain. Now elsewhere, the valley is looking for one to two inches in the Inland Empire with locally up to three, but for the most part, one to two inches. Again, most of that's going to occur in a 24-hour window from uh, the period starting Wednesday night through Thursday. Well, we got to watch the spillover in the high deserts. Inch, inch and a half is quite a bit for those regions. Most of that's going to occur Wednesday night. And then down in San Diego County, most of that is Thursday. You can see the northern part of our county does get between that one to two inch category and that's basically Camp Pendleton wrapping up to Fallbrook Temecula. And the mountains in San Diego County such as Palomar Mountain typically can handle three to four inches of rain. Most of this precipitation will occur in about an 18 hour period so we will see some runoff but typically that's not excessive rainfall. We do need to watch most of those areas in yellow and orange however because a lot of that's going to occur in a 24-hour period, Wednesday night and Thursday. All right, here's some of the details. I'll let you take a look at these nice and close. But widespread precipitation does spread into our coastal slopes, which means our mountains facing west to south tonight. Snow levels will rise tonight because of that warm front. The coastal slopes could get up to about an inch locally through Wednesday, um, and that will be localized. Our Inland Empire and Orange communities and cities along the coast less than a quarter of an inch through Wednesday so tonight and Wednesday most places even less than a quarter now for the heaviest rain that's Wednesday night developing first across Orange County spreading into San Bernardino and Western Riverside last in San Diego County sometime on Thursday probably midday in the afternoon now for Riverside and San Diego counties they'll see the rain last the longest into Thursday night now, very importantly is the rainfall rates. That's what can cause uh, rock slides. That can cause uh, urban flooding, even flash flooding. We still could see the potential of a quarter to half inch. And once we start talking about over a half inch, that can cause debris flows on fire scars, such as in Orange County. And we see that potential. There is the potential uh, late Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So we've got to keep a close eye on that. And that's why the flash flood watches out. Debris flow and small stream flooding is possible, as well as urban flooding. And then flash flooding means just unusual rainfall in a small area in a short amount of time. That could be urban or that could be in the foothills in the slopes. The general rain is one to three like we discussed with two to five in the coastal slopes like the San Bernardino Mountains and even uh, locally in a small area the Santa Ana Mountains or San Jacinto Mountains as well as Palomar Slopes. Those are the west to southwest aspect. San Diego County, much less rain, half inch to an inch. Uh, again, most of that's going to occur in about a 12 to 18 hour period, so relatively short on Thursday. We're going to see a little bit more in the northern part of the county, however, and locally two to four inches like we talked about in Palomar. The desert areas, we've got to watch the high deserts because it looks pretty good. They'll see one to two inches of rain starting as soon as uh, Wednesday uh, in the afternoon and evening. And also for some spillover uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning at the Coachella Valley up to an inch. Most places not seeing that amount, but locally up to an inch. Really high snow levels on Wednesday and Wednesday night, over 9,000 feet. Snow levels do crash a little bit as the disturbance moves through on Thursday night, but most of the precipitation will be over with. So uh, here's a listing of our debris flow potential is still low to moderate, and so there's a flash flood watch out for that. Uh, urban and small stream flooding, that's just from the um, heavy rainfall rates as it moves through Wednesday night and Thursday, is high. Mainstream flooding is low. It does exist, but it is low. And that includes our, our rivers like the uh, Santa Margarita River, and San Diego River, and Santa Ana. 
as well as the white water. We see some water, uh, maybe some significant rises in those rivers for a short period of time, but flooding potential appears low at this time. Thanks for tuning in. Weather.gov San Diego is the latest information, and you can watch us on YouTube and also get updates on Twitter and Facebook at NWS San Diego. Thanks for tuning in.